Facebook. Okay, so I'm on a little bit of a delay, everybody. I'm Catherine Freeman, and I'm a wellness advocate for doTERRA, and occasionally we have these tea time chats. Later on, in a short while, I will be having Kim Gentry, another wellness advocate based out of Iowa, um, joining me. But this is our tea time. So usually at tea time, we check in and ask everybody what they're having for their tea time. So we'll go over that. And because this is sponsored by me through my doTERRA business, I'll talk to you a little bit also about some of the products I've used today because it is a lifestyle. So I'll be able to give you a rundown generally off the top of my head of what products I've used so far today. And uh, then we'll just have a general chat. Today's other topic is gonna be around co-impact sourcing. So I do have a couple of slides on that that hopefully I'll be able to access. And actually, I'll just take a quick look now so that when Kim's on, I'll know for sure. So thanks for watching. This is streaming live on my Wealth and Wellness Essential page at Facebook. And I am on Zoom right now doing this. So one of the fun things about doing these activities is I get to actually learn the technology. So, you know, just give myself a pat on the back there. Um, I'm sure older people a lot like me can be a little cautious about um, technology and the role that it plays in our life. Um, I'm a Gen Xer and uh, these opportunities allow me to get more comfortable with using technology and I learn a lot. And then in my day job, I'm able to take those skills and utilize them in my day job by just being self-taught. So I've learned so much since a year ago um, you know, we're ending Black History Month now, the last day of February, but for the month of March, I'm actually going to be celebrating one year of being a wellness advocate for doTERRA, and doTERRA means gift of earth, and Kim Gentry is getting ready to join me, yay, so it means gift of earth, and they source natural resources from around the world, extracting oils from plants, flowers, and trees included, um, to provide medicinal support in our lives and in our home in a natural and non-toxic way. Now that's just my 30 second speech on that, but that's more or less what it's about. Hey, Kim, we're on and rocking and loving the hair. It's a big hair day. I didn't even know. I'm loving it. Great. Cause uh, you know, I don't usually go big with my hair, but I had this crazy hair thing happen. This Man, day. you get out the shower and you just got to take out the ponytail and just be like, this is what this is what you're getting right now. Oh, this is what you're blessed. You're a bless. I, this is always <laughs> no matter how my hair looks like, it's always worked. Don't let it. Don't let it fool you now. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, this week I had this hair situation go down. You know, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But we like to kick off the tea time by talking about, and we are live, Kim. So just be clear, we're we're live. I see something. I got my diffuser going. I'm telling you, I see it rocking. That thing is intense with no common sense. What are you diffusing, Kim? I am diffusing um, some Copaiba oh, okay. right now and some Serenity. And um, I actually I actually cracked open my frankincense. <gasps> and I put some Frank in there because it's Sunday. So I was like, we need some of the holy oil going right now we need some um we need the king the um king of oils uh for for jesus so i was like let's send out some vibes for jesus so to me, put some to frank me, in there frankincense is like the holy grail of all the oils like mm -hmm. and i'm like this about my oils i know i buy them because you're supposed to consume them but some of them i buy and i just covet them like i don't actually use them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I use frankincense like sparingly because it's so expensive. Um, even though I got it in the BOGO as a deal, it's very expensive and it's very powerful and you might need it um, for, you know, some really big illnesses down the line. So I try to uh, savor it, <laughs> savor it for when I really, really need it. I you know, hear you. So. I I actually, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. I went to Florida and I had a crap load of oils that I brought with me. Like I have pictures of all the different oils I brought and I did not bring any frankincense. And I was like, wow, I didn't even bring the little sample bottle that my sister had given me one time. So I'm going to do on guard in my diffuser because it just actually turned off. 
Um, I like to do On Guard in the morning and a couple of my diffusers around the house, um, just to kind of get that freshness going in around the house. Um, but I do a lot of uh, Litzia too. Like when I did bring Litzia with me to Florida. So I diffused Litzia all around my unit. Like I would move the, I had one diffuser with me. So I would move it from the bedroom to the kitchen and do Litzia all through that place. Cause you know, mm -hmm. wanted to cleanse the air out, you know? So, so yeah, I want to start. What, first of all, we start off tea time by saying, what are you drinking? What do you have? So I'll give you a moment. I don't know if you froze there on me. Maybe you froze um, while you're unfreezing. Um, this is my. I'm. Yep. I had. Um. I took when I went to Florida. I took my diffuser as well. <laughs> I uh, in Florida went. They have mosquitoes. So I yeah. I I brought all of my oils as well, and I put on guard in my coffee in the morning. I love on guard. I love oh, it. Oh. I do. I put a drop in my coffee. I'll do, I do an on guard bleedlet. So let's talk about what we're drinking and then we'll talk about what, what kind of products we've used so far today. And then we'll go on to a couple other things. So, and you did freeze. So I kind of lost you for a second there. Oh, sorry. So I'll start off by just saying, I am actually steeping a chocolate uh, chai. And I actually got this at a spice shop when I was in Florida. There's this really great spice and tea shop there that's been there since even before the last time I went there. So it's nice to go back and see the same establishment there. So I was able to get some chocolate um, chai, which is great. It kind of is satiating without you having to actually have like a Snickers or we won't say names of companies on here. But I need you know, to go get my tea. Practice. I need to go make some tea. I'm going to go make some tea. I have some. I need to make some. It's some relaxation tea. I'll be back, guys. Of course. I'll keep talking. That's the one thing one of my friends will tell you. I, once you wind me up, I could keep going. And with my tea, I'm actually just guilty pleasures. Red velvet. I love these. So got my red velvet cupcake going and I've got my chocolate chai tea going and I'm just going to add a little bit of milk to that so I actually use lactate milk I'm lactose intolerant but I have to say with the products that I've been using with doTERRA that's really decreased my sensitivity so I'll, while Kim's getting her tea together I'll talk about the things that I've used today so it's like four o'clock eastern standard time so at this point in the day I have, and it brings me back to the, the dairy. I take probiotics, which is a probiotic assist junior. It's the um, sleeve that looks like a pixie stick. And I tell you guys about this all the time. So I took that in between meals. Um, I took one so far, so I'll do another one at dinner. And that's to help um, break down the food and, and give you the proper enzymes in your stomach to assist you with eating. So that's a definite for the day. For my hair, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, yeah, I'm trying to baby my hair a little bit at the moment. I had an interesting hair experience this week um, after conditioning it and trying a couple of different things that didn't really work out. I'm trying to let it rest a little before I kind of delve back in and do some major surgery on my hair. So I put some tea tree, mix of tea tree, cedarwood and lavender oils from doTERRA on my hair and on my hairline. So it's kind of resting with that little bit of oils on it right now while um, we're, I'm kind of doing this little self-care Sundays. Hopefully you all are enjoying your Sunday. And in terms of other things I have put on today, I love pink pepper, although I did not put it on today, but I brought pink pepper because later on, we're going to be talking about co-impact sourcing, which is a type of contracting and farming arrangements that doTERRA has around the world with different farmers and distillers. So I brought the pink pepper. That's a one that I like to use, although I didn't use it today. On guard, I talked about earlier. I, I have that going in the diffuser right now. I did it in the diffuser in my sitting room downstairs as well. Um, so that was it. I really did not use a lot of oils today. I usually like to use a lot of lavender. I also have a um, body the spa. I don't know if anybody else has that, but there's the spa spray that has the beautiful oil, which is a blend in it. I absolutely love that. I love the scent of it and I love the spray action of it. Um, so I use that on on my elbows, sometime on the bottom of my feet, in my neck area, decolletage as they like to say, I use it in that area. And then to top it off, this is a new product that I really like, which is the tinted lip gloss. They had this out during the holidays and this is all natural products. 
So this is replacing my other lip glosses that may have other types of things that aren't as safe for the skin um, and in, a, in absorption. And to top it off, they have a peppermint essential oil in here. So whenever you put it on your lips, you're like, hmm, you know, refreshing, you know? So pucker up ladies, uh, if you haven't tried, this is a great one. I tried to give it to my sister, but she didn't realize when she came to my house that that was something that I was leaving for her because I have another one of these I had bought during the holidays, so. I don't know. She's not, I can never remember. Is she a lip, lip gloss gal or not? Um, you know, some people aren't into lip gloss. I am. So I'm actually, this is actually replacing two other lip glosses that I had that have ingredients in it of unknown origin. So this actually replaces that. And it's virtually the same color as the other two I had already. So lip gloss is lip or anything on my lips is a guilty pleasure of mine. I get made fun of because my masks get destroyed by the fact that I have lipstick on underneath my masks. I don't know if that happens to you. Do you still put lipstick on and then go out with a mask on? I'm guilty as charged. I can't, I have to, like having something on my lips is like something, I could go without any type of makeup, but I love to have something on my lips. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> I was just, I was just giving the full rundown. I gave a full rundown of everything I had in my tea situation. And of course my red velvet cupcake. Mm. And well, then I gave, I my turn. Yep, and I gave the whole rundown of like the oil products and things that I used for doTERRA so far today. That's okay, <laughs> dang, I know I just went and got all mine because I was like, dang, I use a lot of doTERRA stuff. I've become like doTERRA city. <laughs> okay, so Amanda sent me this cool, uh, Oh, nice. <laughs> uh oh, you froze again. See, now she, I don't know if I'm frozen, but she, she to me is frozen. So she's in Iowa. I'm here in Connecticut. We're both in Christmas. the same. So I just busted this out real quick. Anti-stress yeah. herbal tea with um, chamomile, ashwanga, and lavender flowers and clove in it. And so this is my first time drinking it. And I put a little bit of honey in there to sweeten it up just now. Nice. So yeah, I was like, I need to start drinking this because <laughs> I bought it for a reason. I bought it for a reason because of the stuff in it. So I just bought that tea and um, I just took a shower. So I used uh, to wash my face, my HD clear. Okay. I use this every single day. Um, I got diagnosed uh, with uh, sleep apnea last year. And so um, I had to start wearing a CPAP. So uh, during that time, it was like uh, COVID came and uh, I had to wear something on my face every night. And I got Bell's palsy at the same time. So uh, my face broke out <laughs> and I'm a gardener. My face broke out with all these bumps and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, like really I got Bell's palsy. It looks like I had a stroke. I was just like insecure. I was like, oh my gosh, my smile's gone. What's going on? Lord, really bring it back. So I yeah. <laughs> contacted Stacy, my upline, and I was like, Stacy, what can I use for my skin? And um, because I like to be outside. And Stacy's like, get the HD clear. So I got the HD clear um, kit. And so I use this to wash my face every single day. And it literally cleared my skin up like within like um, seven to 10 days. Wow. And so I don't have, I have clear skin back again. And so that helps if you're in the summertime and you have oily skin, you be outside and stuff, HD clear will clear you up. So I use that face wash and then you use the oil. You don't have to use this every day. Um, just like um, maybe the areas that, um, you have bumps on, um, just put it on and rub it in and that'll like clear up those areas and those blemishes that you may have bumps on. I use it every day, but you know, I just be like, I just do a little tea and then I just rub it all over um, on do my mind face. So. What's in, do you mind sharing what's in that? Oh, in the HD clear, um, it has black cumin, seed oil, um, so like cinnamon, cinnamonium, um, camphora, that's a long word. Linole, ugh, I can't even say it. Linola forum, so whole wood, a uh, leaf oil, malaleuca, so tea tree, um, leaf oil. It has litsia in it. Ooh, I didn't know that. 
fruit oil, eucalyptus, um, leaf oil, 